Hello there, it's Sean from Sean's Travels. We're right here outside the Boston Convention Center. There's my hotel. I'm on my way to the Boston Common Park now. We'll see if... Uh... I know the map says it's closed, but we'll see how much uh, after hours access they get. So well, I'll be back then. Here's a video of the skyline. That's the smokestack and some more downtown Boston buildings. So I'm gonna see where I can go from here. Here's a view of the Boston River on the way to the common. You can see a big stone pyramid or something out there in the center. All the... Oh, that's the U.S. Post Office. Okay. And I do you see the bridges. I'll try to come back on that side. You can see an old sailing ship over there. And the bridges and the downtown buildings and everything. Ah, there's an old... Oh, if I can zoom in a bit. There's an older building nestled amongst the skyscrapers. You can see the U.S. flag. There's a good photo of it. All the skyscrapers around it and everything. Let's see? Huh. That's quite something. Oh, look, the, the flag pole oh, has lights. And look, look at how historic the South Station is. There you go. Alright. Well, here we go. Some uh, old architecture, as you can see. Uh, let me zoom out a bit. Ah, there you go. Old architecture amongst the skyscrapers. A huge clock tower up there. Quite beautiful, actually. And all the way to the uh, the building at the well near the end of the street. See, that's quite something. Over here is more like fast food. Like down here, you have more like restaurants. Famous Boston Common with uh, more pigeons than you could ever imagine, that's for sure. <laughs> of course, now we know why. Someone's feeding them. <laughs> All right. Let's see what I can get for pictures. There's a nice central fountain with umbrellas and stuff. Uh, there we go. Good, got that. So see, now you're away from downtown. Lots of green space and everything. Oh, look, 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 there's a dome. Now, I don't know if that is the state capital dome or not, but that's a good picture too. There you go. Zoom back out. And there we are. So I will go along the park for a while, and, and I'll go back downtown. Hi, now it's not exactly the Boston Common sign, but I did get the map. Of course, I'll edit this video to take care of the rotations. There's another colorful cow. And then, go up here, and this is probably the... Uh, State Capitol at the top of the steps. Liberty Mall, okay. Dedicated October 27, 27 1917. Soldiers and Sailors in the Great War, aka okay, World War One. Ha! Ah, Massachusetts State House, there you go. There you go. There's a good summit. Okay, now back into the park. First actual sign of Boston Common I've seen. And you can see the uh, the trees and the shaded pathways. It's a lot like um, it's a lot like the park in downtown Kingston actually. The one that backs right on to uh, Queen's University in fact. Although this one backed right up to the state capitol building which is over to my right. You saw that in the 
earlier video. Second park I visited, like actual planned park in my vacation. The first one was the, uh, the National Mall itself, which of course you'll see in that video posted soon enough. Should be able to post this, uh, you know, I cook a couple YouTube shorts, so I should be able to post this video soon enough. Let's go down to the water and get some pictures down there. There we go. So I'm approaching a big gate with a big uh, granite pillar, almost like a plaque. Perhaps it's the formal entrance to Boston Common? I'll find out. No, actually this is the uh, Boston Founding Plaque, founded 1630. Well, here's something for the Boston Common itself again. It's garage State House. Picture. Of course, the downtown buildings surrounding it. And the carousel. And the big statue over there, which is where I'm going next. Good. When I first thought of the idea of Sean's travels, this is kind of what I had in mind. Visiting different cities in which the conventions were held. And getting pictures and videos of those things and using the pause button properly to make sure that the video is edited correctly. So here's a good picture of the big statue, at least what I can see of it. So I'll pause the video and see if I can get a vertical view. Here's a vertical view of the statue. Gotta get all around it, of course, to see the top of it. And, of course, the view of the park from there. So that's quite good. All right. There is a picture of the big statue itself. There we go. Got it. There we go. And then back the way we came. Statue. Let's see if we can get close enough. I'm going to zoom in on it. There we go. So now you can read the plaque itself and get the photo. Good. See how much there. That's how much you have to get back to get the photo of everything. If I didn't know it was Boston, I'd swear it was the heart of Europe. There's a section in Rodeo Drive in Beverly Hills that has cobblestone streets like this, and of course, Actual Europe does, as I saw when I deployed. I can recognize I was on the street before because I recognize the TD Bank in the background on the left, right, on the right. So this is seeing it from the other perspective. Well, I'm here. I mean, I kind of lost cell phone signal, but I can at least find myself on the map. It's a sculpture. And a water fountain and almost like a garden maze. And there's another park across the road, Christopher Columbus Park, so that's highly appropriate, so let's cross. Alright, here we go. Now, where was that sign? Got to get a picture of the sign. Here we go. There we go. Picture of the sign. And then on into the park itself, which is very close to the harbor. That's good, because that's where I wanted to get to earlier. Because you can get a picture of the entire Boston Harbor and old iron sides and everything. And you can see the uh, beautiful fenced-in sculpture garden here flower garden. And the harbor is out beyond there, so let's take the trail and find our way. The harbor deserves a landscape view, actually. And people could probably wander all along. That's, uh, that's really neat. 
You can see the older building over there with the balconies and everything. Maybe that's some kind of historic hotel, not sure. Marriott Longmore. Okay. There's another colorful rainbow cow. Huh. Really something. Mm -hmm. For the map. I'm glad I'm documenting the journey. I do know I'm going the right way. And some say, oh, how do you know? I know because I can see old iron sides. Or maybe it's the, well, I don't know which ship it is. It's a wooden sailing ship anyway in the Boston. Oh, there's the Well, that was the ferry boat warning horn. See, it's beginning to uh, back up. That's neat. <laughs> oh, and look at the beautiful buildings here. All right. So, let's see. If I go along here a bit, should be able to eventually see the, uh, the ship. Lots of uh, super yachts and stuff in the harbor. Boston Waterfront Marina sign. There you go. So, we're getting somewhere. There's a very tall uh, sailing ship there. The, uh, the ferry made its horn show up again. Oh, there's the big masted ship. You can see it now. There we go. Ferry's beginning to make its turn. Just like the Enterprise when it left Space Dock in Star Trek III. So this is a great uh, panorama of the uh, harbor itself. Almost a paddle wheeler. All the ships. And then of course all the different hotels off there. Which is where I'm heading back to. Over there. So that's it for formation plaques here including a map of the Boston Harbor and everything. Here's the second one. Showing a map of the city early on. 1630, I guess. And uh, showing the formation of the Long Wharf. Good. Video record of where I'm crossing to make sure I'm going to the right place. Now, I am a few blocks up from where I was. This is a different bridge than I crossed uh, earlier this afternoon. Well, I guess it's evening by now. Eh, it's good getting the pictures anyway. And the video footage. Just had to delete some old videos from my phone to make room again. Yeah, I guess, uh, I guess that's all for now. That's almost a, uh, almost a bit like a miniature of Captain Hook's ship there. Just got to widen the range a bit so I can get it all in the picture. There you go. And some construction buildings. There's the other part of the harbor over there. And there's that ship right between the pillars over there. Actually, let me get to the right of it. You see? By that rusty outright bridge. I seen earlier, but I wasn't close enough to really get a good view then. If you look closely on that boardwalk, you can see some more of those colored cows statues, the same ones I saw at the Boston Common Park. Let the walker get out of the way. Three, four, three, two, one, picture. I reached a point in my, oh, zoom in, there you go, reached a point in my journey where I'm going to have to uh, start heading this way to get back to my hotel. You can see the big construction building here and the beautiful trees and everything. <laughs> That's why I love cities. Eventually you get to a point where 
you get away from all the city streets and you just find the, the beauty of the manicured landscapes or maybe manufactured is the right word but it's really beautiful the rock formations and everything and the plaques which I can see up there let's get a bit closer okay the rocks at Harbor Way there you go get the picture good and the video oh that's neat with the skeleton of the building in the background that's beautiful. A beautiful wall. It looks blue in real life, but looks purple on the screen. There's a sculpture like JR's building in Dallas. And there's the big building itself. That's really neat. You know, you always think, oh, there's nothing fun to see in construction buildings. Really? Look at that one. I mean, it's only under construction, but look at how beautiful that looks. It's amazing. Even under construction, it looks gorgeous. Don't know what it's going to be. It's nice to see it. Congrats, something, something. Retired, I guess. <laughs> All right, but that's enough filming for. Oh, look, there's the Omni Hotel. Good. I'm on my way. Just have to find my way around now. Hmm. Won't be able to get through that way, will I? I guess I'm going to have to go back where I came from. I have to go back this way, I think. Go around the corner. Get to my hotel that way. But I'll stay on the middle of the street right now. Don't want to get run over. But at least I know where I am now. Ah. Some kind of upper class living place. Look. The Metlo. Immersive seaport learning experience. Okay. Living. Living. Oh, that's neat. AR wall. I Kind of. And there is a picture of the under construction building from this side. Got it just before the car. That's pretty too. Alright. Guess that's enough for now. Train tracks, look. All the way along. And even when it's uh, underground, look how beautiful that is. Now, I don't know if there's any way to actually get into my hotel from here. I quite frankly don't know how to get up there. Hmm. Huh. Let's go this way. It's the end. There's the convention center right across from my hotel. Sign is orange again. Had to take an elevator up one level to get to where I need to be. Although, for all I know, this corner restaurant is part of my hotel. We're going to find out in a moment. Because I've done enough walking now. Time to go back to the hotel. Now that it's fully dark here in Boston, it's time to get a video of the skyline from my apart hotel room. Turned off the lights. Turned off the TV. Even the laptop screen went dark, so there's nothing to interfere with getting this video. You can see the beautiful orange on the main street there, but look at how there's no orange there. And then the uh, skyline, that looks like a plane descending. And the main, look at how much brighter the parking lot looks on the phone than it does in real life and how it has distorted the color of the street, which looks normal color to me, made it yellow. So I am going to have to do something about the white balance on this phone because it's really made it look different than what I see.